curling the back into section nice section over here you can use a white um, straightening iron or curling tool anything you like the bigger the straightening iron the iron the, the bigger the curls will appear the smaller the narrow the plates are the um, smaller the curls will be whatever you prefer <laughs> If you take small sections as well, the curls will be a bit smaller. So you just grab a straightness like that, twist once only, and then you just start pulling. Just pulling it down. It's like ribbon and scissors kind of trick when you're trying to curl a ribbon on the present, you know? Scissors and just pull it. can go back to a couple of other ones. If one curl doesn't work, um, don't do the same curl straight away. Uh, leave it to cool down first and then go back to the same curl after a minute or so. So when you curl hot hair, it doesn't, doesn't curl again. So you have to just leave it. Again, if something doesn't work, just leave it and come back to it. Makes sense to take fine sections if you're going out or something. Because it's, they'll be a bit tighter, but it lasts longer. This is non-stop, baby, you got me going crazy.
Yeah, if you would like to, once you finished uh, the style, you put some hairspray to fix. You can just give it a little bit of a push up with a tail comb like that. So you push the back comb area up so you can see how much more um, volume you get just by pushing it up and just spray it afterwards a little bit more. So it creates a bit more height there. And we'll do the same on the sides now. <laughs> we'll just dry shampoo the area. So we'll do the steps three now. Back comb and lift a little bit the sides. I like to use a little bit of dry shampoo just to give that instantly gives a lift as well but make sure you leave the dry shampoo for just a couple of seconds before you brush it off out because it needs time to absorb the oils from the root before you brush the the dry shampoo because it's talcum powder away from the hair so if you brush it straight away basically no 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 results you have to leave it for a good minute kind of thing the best way to do back combing is not to do a lot of continuous uh, movement, but just do one long one at the same time when you're pulling your hair, the section of the hair up, and kind of create double sided motion. So this down and the hair up. And then when you get really good effect. This is non stop, baby. You got me going crazy. You're heavier than I. have a play around with these um, for my holiday which we're going on tomorrow um, I'll keep you um, posted with any more videos if you want a direct email to your account with um, my videos then just subscribe to my channel and um, also if you want to, to subscribe to Tatiana's channel um, we'll put a link on for that too she also has a Facebook page and then you can have a look at her work um, and any inquiries that you want Alright, thanks guys.